So this will be the high range of the chloride test. If the solution didn't change at the 20th drop, then you need to go to the high range test. And this is where we will utilize the small measuring tube. So we need to rinse out the square mixing bottle with deionized water to get that ready. And also rinse it out with creek water. And do the same thing with our plastic measuring tube. So again, you only do this high range test if your solution did not change color at the 20th drop of the silver nitrate. This is pretty much going to be just using a lesser amount of sample because there was so much chloride in the water. We need a smaller amount of sample in order to test and see how much salt is actually in the water. So this is where we are going to fill from the syringe, have a reverse meniscus, so a big bubble on top of the plastic measuring tube, get all of that into the square mixing bottle. And here the process is the exact same. We're going to add our chloride 2 powder packet to our bottle. And swirl, agitate to dissolve. It might take just a little bit longer because there is less solution in here but it still starts out as yellow. Then you're still going to titrate with the silver nitrate, drop by drop, keeping count of your drops until we get a color change that stays. Two, three, four, five, six, and that does it. We have our color change that has stayed. So that took six drops. And remember, this is at the high range test. So we're going to multiply our number of drops by 20. So this would equal 120 milligrams per liter of chloride. And that is what we would write on our data sheet. And then we would, then we would repeat the process for our second test to make certain that we get repeatability. So we'll clean up our equipment again. As far as the chloride test, you want to be within at most two drops difference to have repeatability between, between the two creek water tests. So we will see if we get that or not. And we will rinse out our tube as well just so that we're staying clean, even though it only had creek water in it. We'll rinse it out. And then fill it. So we have the reverse meniscus, the big bubble on top. And we'll get all that into this glass square mixing bottle. We will add our chloride 2 powder packet to our bottle. Agitate swirl until that powder reagent is dissolved. Starts out as yellow, so we're starting off good. We will titrate with our silver nitrate. It's one, it's two, it's three, four, five, and six. So we get our color change that stays. 
So we have duplicated our first test where we had six. We also have six here. So our second test also equals 120 milligrams per liter. You can't beat coming up with the same answer, so that's definitely really good repeatability.